you want that small community thing. I grew up beside the high school. If I went to the other side of town, whatever I got into over there made it back home before I got back home. Let's give a big warm welcome to the Honecker FFA Gospel Band. Well, Honecker is, I think it's unique in that it's just, it's like a lot of other little small country towns. There are such good, good people here. The vista from my front porch is always breathtaking. And you can see all of the town, the little hills like Ebby's Knob around it, which look like little mini volcanoes. And I can also see the end of Clinch Mountain, Beartown Mountain, which is about five or six miles south of here. And the whole town shares that. It's really a unique place on earth. You know, it's always been special. How did I come writing stories? Well, actually, I think I wrote some when I was in grade school, because I liked to read. And, I, and then in high school, I read all the books, I think, that were in the library. Uh, and I wanted to write, but I didn't know how to start. And uh, I actually didn't start writing until we were going to do the book. Or when I wrote for the little newspaper, I guess it's actually when I really started writing. And I, I said, in a way, that got me started because I had a lot I wanted to write. And I decided that if I wrote like I talked, I'd do a better job. And that's what I tell my friends that I nag, and I nag them all the time. Say, you get in there and write that down right now. And I tell them my motto is write it down. The Redbud Festival, one thing we do, and I think it's the best thing we do, is have an essay contest. The children are supposed to interview the oldest person they know, and sometimes it's just their mother who's 40. <laughs> and then others will say, Grandpa said he had a lot of stories to tell if anybody wanted to listen. And, the, and the, some of them will say, I enjoyed talking to my grandpa or grandma. I tell people when they come here, if they want a souvenir out of this building, go back there and get one of those essay books. That's good reading. Yeah, The whole entire town gets behind all of our sports programs. That's another beautiful thing about this area. And I guess that's because we, everybody knows everybody, you know. It, it matters when something big's happening in my neighbor's life. It matters to us, so we, we take part in it. We're not a big town. We don't have a lot of people. I teach 100 kids, but I develop relationships with them. You know, I get to know them beyond a, a name on a roster. I get to know the kids, and to me, I finally understand now, after doing this for 13 years, that's a blessing. A lot of the teachers are local, have made the decision early on that they want to stay in this community. And when you've got a local person teaching in your local schools, uh, they're not here because they have to be here, they're here because they love this community and they want to teach the future children about the community in hopes that they will stay here. I could walk to the post office and on the way to the post office I'd probably encounter four or five people that I know and we could talk and I could ask how their families are doing and living in a small tight-knit community. Everybody knows everybody and one of my trips to the post office, which is only a quarter mile away, could take 30 minutes depending on how long I stand and talk to folks. We've got roots from a long way back, and that's why a lot of people come to Honecker searching for the roots. And it's just a beautiful place. Love the people, they will help you. Just ask somebody's walking down the street, they will do whatever they can to help you. I'd have played the, uh, maybe the first Red Bud uh, out on a truck bed down in, in town uh, with Sherman Compton and uh, Steve Miller and the uh, whole gang of us, so. <laughs> CH was nice to uh, do that. And we don't, everybody know everybody, 
but I guarantee you we will rally behind each other like a brother and like a sister when times get tough. We care, and I don't want it to change. There was always a lot going on for a little town, but it still had that small town charm and, and all the features of what's special about small towns. Thank you.